Brushing Stamps In the previous section, we learned about the different blend modes provided with the stamps. However, there will be cases where you'll be needing finer control and this is where the brush comes to play. Let's say we have a tricky situation where one stamp doesn't blend well with another stamp, no matter what blend mode we use. In this case, we can manually brush the opacity of the stamp. Let's take a look at how we can do this. This tutorial does not need to be followed step by step. You can just watch and experiment when the video is over. What you see right now is a scene containing a landscape stamp with a crater stamp rendered on top of it. As we can see, the craters aren't blending well. In order to fix this, we'll select the crater stamp and click the Edit Mask button. Notice the blue border around the stamp indicating that we are currently painting. We can paint within the border, but not outside of it. To paint, simply hold down the left mouse button and brush onto the stamp. We can change the size and opacity of the brush using the sliders in the inspector. To invert the brush, simply hold Shift while painting. If you are not happy with the result, you can always revert back to the original mask that came with the stamp by clicking the Reset button. Okay, so let's actually blend these stamps properly. There, that looks better. To apply the result, click Apply. This feature can be used to blend stamps with each other, but it can also be used for a bunch of other things. To get the hang of this, let's look at some more use cases. In this scene, we used a flat stamp that provides an area that connects to our buildings. We masked out the edges to make it flow seamlessly with the rest of the terrain. Here we have two dune stamps right on top of each other. One is slightly different than the other, but by masking out one of them, we achieve a more interesting pattern. In this scene, we isolated a specific part out of a big stamp, then copy and pasted it and made a more interesting looking landscape. Here, we put a flat stamp on the lake. The flat stamp does not change the height. Instead, it is painting a specific terrain layer. As you can see, this feature offers a lot of possibilities and space for creativity while maintaining our non-destructive workflow. In this video, we've seen the power of the brush. The next one will take a look at the ins and outs of splat mapping. See you there.